addictive relationships. With Terry Gorski and Claudia Black. This presentation is Addictive Relationships, Relationship Building. In this presentation, we're going to discuss the basics of building a healthy, functional relationship. If you are currently single, the information will be useful as you start a new relationship. If you're in a relationship, you're going to be able to see how to use this information to improve it. Relationship building is a lot like building a house. First, we clear the land by starting a personal recovery program and abstaining from dysfunctional behaviors. Then we put in a foundation of communication, caring, and commitment. Finally, we construct each story of the house one by one. We start with casual contact, move into companionship, then on into friendship, and finally, we top the structure off with romantic love and committed love. If we want to build a healthy relationship, first we start a program of personal change. Then we abstain from dysfunctional behaviors in our current relationships. When we start a program of personal change, we have to admit that we're part of the relationship problem. This is hard to do. It's much easier to blame our partner than it is to take responsibility for ourselves. There will always be things that you want to change about your partner. But what about you? What personal issues do you need to take care of? What do you need to change about yourself in order to have a healthy, functional relationship? Are you so preoccupied with being strong that you don't recognize that you're a fallible human being who needs the support and caring of others? Does your need to be strong make you grandiose and extremely independent? Are you self-centered? Are you intrusive and pushy with your partner? If so, these are things that you're going to need to change. Maybe you go to the other extreme. Maybe you're so preoccupied with your own weaknesses and helplessness that you can't recognize or act upon your own strengths. Do you feel so insecure that you depend upon your partner instead of yourself? Are you so other-centered that you've lost yourself in your partner and you no longer know who you are? Does your insecurity cause you to tolerate inappropriate behavior from your partner? If so, these are traits that you too need to change. We change by working a program of personal recovery. We can grow beyond our limitations. We can become healthy people who have healthy relationships. As we grow in recovery, we learn that we're fallible human beings who have both strengths and weaknesses. We learn that it's okay to be strong and act upon our strengths without shame or guilt. We also learn that it's okay to be weak and vulnerable. There are times when we need to be cared for and nurtured. It's okay to show others our weakness. It's okay to let others know that we hurt and that we're afraid. We're fallible human beings, and we don't have to be ashamed of it. We don't have to hide our feelings from other people. Healthy people are secure and cooperative. They're comfortable with their strengths, and they can act on those strengths. They're also comfortable with their weaknesses and can ask for help in overcoming those. They're able to cooperate. They can assert their own strength in the relationship when it is appropriate. They can also rely upon the strength of their partner when they need to.